Welcome to DIY with Dave. Today I'm here to show you how to paint a rendered fence. If your home is looking a little tired, a fresh coat of paint is an inexpensive and easy way to brighten up your exterior. Why not create the ultimate street appeal and paint your fence? We've put together some simple tips to ensure you do it right the first time. Here's what you'll need for the job. Be sure the weather is looking good for the next few days. Taking time to paint your fence will not only enhance the appearance, but it'll also prevent against weather damage, extending the life of your fence. As with any painting job, the first step is to prepare the surface. If mould is present, clean the surface with an appropriate cleaner, like a bleach solution. Then rinse well with clean water. After this, wash down the entire fence with a water blaster. This will remove any excess dirt and residue from the surface. Allow to dry before painting. Uneven surfaces should be sanded smooth with fine abrasive paper and then dust. Fill holes and cracks with a suitable filler and sand lightly to an even finish. For our job today, we'll be using SolarGuard Low Sheen in New Look Brilliant Storm. SolarGuard is a water-based acrylic paint. It's perfect because it's tough, durable and ideal for our Australian climate. Make sure you use an acrylic based paint for your fence. They're microporous to allow moisture to permeate through the paint film without causing a loss of adhesion. Moisture will cause the paint to peel and crack over time. Oil based paints are quite hard and don't flex in the sun. They're a source of mildew growth so it's best to use an acrylic paint for exterior jobs. We've already undercoated and painted the palings using New Look Mold and Mildew Proof Exterior in half strength New Look piece time. Now we're going to apply the contrast colour to the render to really create amazing street appeal. If you're in need of colour inspiration, visit paintplace.com.au and discover thousands of colour samples and current trends. You can even create your own custom colour in store by scratch or by match. A good tip is to protect your grass or pathways by placing a trim guide or piece of cardboard on a slight angle against the base of the wall. Start at one end of the fence and work your way along, taking the guide with you. Apply a generous amount of paint to the brush and begin to edge the rendered posts. We're using a wide filament brush. This allows us to really get into those hard to reach crevices of the render. Apply one coat, allow to dry for one hour. We're using an 18mm long nap roller. This will help you cover all those textured areas of the posts. Once your roller coat is dry, apply the second coat to the edges with a wide brush. Then immediately roll the second coat. This will help reduce a picture framing effect which can be visible if you let the paint dry too quickly between cutting and rolling. What a great result! We've easily transformed the street appeal of this home just by painting the fence. As you can see, with the right products and expert advice, you can achieve professional results at home. With Paint Place, painting made easy.